Hi everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to add the eject key to the carabiner elements application. I'm not sure exactly why the developer didn't include this key as an option in the original release, but here's a way to work around that issue. Uh, most of you may be trying to do this modification so you can map the eject key to a forward delete. Um, and uh, this modification works on my computer. It's a mid-2012 model. And this is how you go about doing it. First I'll show you just to confirm that it, I don't have the eject key on my computer on um, in the application yet. But once you edit the JSON file, you'll see this uh, up here. Um, the eject button will be under media controls. So I'm going to exit out and completely quit Carabiner. Because if you modify the JSON file, it won't appear until after you restart the program anyway. So right click <coughs> and open Show Package Contents. Then go to Resources, Simple Modifications.json. Open that file with an IDE. Text edit might work, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Atom. And <clears throat> scroll down or control left to find the eject key. It should be on line 384. As you can see on line 385, we have this not from true line, whereas the volume increment key has type consumer key code. You're going to want to copy this exactly. And replace that line under eject. with that same line. Then go ahead and control S. Your computer might ask you for a password. Just type in your login password and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to file and save it. And I'll close it <clears throat> and reopen Carabiner um, from the applications. Now under media controls I have the eject key and the two key is set to delete forward. Now, if I want to type anything, I can delete from behind, or forward delete. So that's how you do the edit. Again, I don't know why this wasn't included in the original release. There might be some weird behavior that happens um, that the uh, developer didn't want to have people run into. Um, but if you're willing to take whatever risk comes with making this edit, this is how you do it. Um, I also want to mention that when you go into show package contents and resources, you might have some trouble editing this file. I think I got around um, the right permissions by just copying, opening this, copying all the contents, pasting it in a new text file or JSON file and then pasting it back in with the exact same uh, file name and making sure the extension um, is .json and the extension isn't hidden and once you do that um, it should be good to go as well. Please give a thumbs up if you'd like and if you found this helpful. Um, hope this helps.